Welcome to Your Students, Your Schools. I'm your host, Jim Brescia. I'm delighted to be able to share this behind the scenes look at the students, teachers, and staff that make up our county's remarkable schools. Please be sure to watch for your friends and neighbors and let them know how proud you are of their accomplishments. And now, on with the show. We're here today at Los Osos Middle School, which has a unique approach to 21st century learning skills. Principal Andre Illig is going to describe to us a little bit about the programs and how we're meeting student needs and preparing them for the future. So tell us about this great school you run. Well, we're very excited here to have a STEAM program, and we really have redefined our learners as what we call the new 21st century learning. Students are put together in groups in their classes where they work with each other and really emulating the 21st century environment. Now, it's a sort of a nebulous term, what does this mean, the 21st century learner? But what we're trying to do is we're trying to give our students a toolkit of skills and capacities where they can work together in a group, they can make decisions, they can create something, they can prototype things, and they can be creative. There isn't really an outcome for every single project, but the students create it. The teachers are just facilitating it. They're creating that springboard and the students can just go to town and really be able to create a lot of different things. How do you see this different from when your generation or my generation was in middle school? Well, when, when I was in middle school, they told you what to do and you created it and then it was done. Now there's no end. There's, it's almost like that real world environment where you can create and you can keep on going and you can prototype and you can seek out the market to see if anybody wants to actually purchase what you're trying to sell. And then of course, just like in the real world, you have a very limited budget. And so you have to work as students, they have to work within those constraints to be able to market their project, maybe find funding from our local businesses to be able to create what they want to create. So tell me a little bit of how your staff is handling the balance between these innovative classes and the traditional uh, coursework that we're expected to do in all of our schools. Well, we have a really good mix between the traditional classroom, which feels just like any other classroom, mixed in with this innovation and this innovative piece where students can just go in above and beyond. And really what we've told our staff, some of our staff members are very progressive and they're on the front edge. And others are more traditional saying, no, we need to be able to have these basic knowledge and these basic skills in there. All we've told our staff is just to say yes. When a student says, can I do this project through coding or computer science or in a different creative way, all we're asking our teachers to say is, yes, let's do it. Thank you. I'm looking forward to spending the day here. Absolutely. Abby is a student here at Los Osos Middle School. Abby, tell me about your school. What do you enjoy the most? Um, school here at Loans is super duper fun. We do like so many things. We have all the normal classes like math, PE, science. But then we also have STEAM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. And in STEAM classes, you can really do so many things. Like we have an animatronics class and I'm actually learning how to do 3D design and animation with the program Blender and it's super cool and really fun to learn. I'm here with Gabriel and he's a student. Um, tell me a little bit about your math program here okay. at Los Osos. In this math program there's different levels for different types of students. Some students go fast while others go slow. Uh, what are some innovative aspects of the class that you enjoy? Well, it's not just pencil and paper. Uh, we do work with a computer that actually shows us if we're doing the work right on the first time and not just, it's not like homework that we just do it and wait for the next day to get the right answer. Math and science helps us with a lot of things because we can, you know, tackle real world problems like um, pollution, global warming, and, you know, problems with the environment. All right, I think we're in good hands with you. Amy Burris is the uh, Teacher of the Year for Los Osos Middle School and is in the math department, so tell us about your program. Well, I've been teaching math for many, many years, and as a traditional math teacher, I felt like I was really wasting a lot of students' time. I would have students come into the classroom, and it was great for about a third of the kids. I was teaching them right where they wanted to learn and right where they were ready, but I had a third of the students who weren't ready for what I wanted to teach them, and a third of the students who already knew what I was going to teach before I walked in the door, and it just wasn't fair to them. Students are able to be met exactly where they are with technology and with differentiation so that we can take them to that next step. We take those students 
that are already accelerated within our math class and we let them go further. We kind of let them run at their own pace. And we take extra time so those students, we don't just leave anybody behind either. When you meet a child mathematically or in any type of educational field, right where they are and where they need to go next, then they're happy to move at that next pace and they get excited about learning. And that's what we try and do at Los Osos Middle School is to make students excited and engaged in their learning. And how do the parents in the community respond to these changes? We individualize instruction for each and every student. They come in a little wary of it and then by the end they are our biggest supporters because they see the effects that it has on their specific child. And we have children who are doing more math and enjoying math more than ever before because we're teaching them right where they are. Education with the use of technology that we get, it's just getting a bigger and bigger and bigger community and there's so many resources and we can pull in online activities and we can pull in Skyping people from around the world. It's very exciting and as a staff we're really on board, really looking for all of those new connections that we can make. So this is an Arduino, what they're doing right here. And the Arduino is connected to our computer, and the computer has some coding on it that makes the Arduino do what it's doing. And you have to connect it to the, these wires, you have to connect it to the breadboard, which is this white thing. And once you connect it to, and this is the Arduino part, once you connect it, it whatever you have on your code, mm -hmm. it makes it do that. So on our code, it's telling to light up, like the lights. So it's doing that because the wires are connected. So she's changing the sequencing of all the lights there? Yeah. And then they're turning on the other lights because most of them are on, but two of them aren't. So their designs turning on the other lights that aren't on. Impressive. So do you think you'll be able to use this, these skills you've acquired in the future? Yeah, I do. I think we will because sometimes we had to work in groups mm -hmm. and you need to be able to work in groups a lot in life. Good. and listen to other people's ideas. Excellent skills to take forward. Well, thank you for very much today. Matt Robinette is a teacher here at Los Osos Middle School and is responsible for a very innovative program uh, modeled after Stanford. So tell us about the program. Yeah, we modeled our program uh, through the Stanford D School of Design. And so we have our students um, work in collaborative groups and they're faced with a challenge or a problem. And we ask them to empathize with the end user and um, brainstorm uh, an approach to solve the challenger problem. And how do you see these skills transferring as they move forward in their career, either to high school, college, or the workforce? Yeah, well, one of the things that we're really focused on is getting our students prepared for the 21st century. Um, 21st century skills such as collaboration, uh, communication, so they're communicating with their peers. Um, we're, we're working in collaborative group, groups to brainstorm. Um, we're also seeing a lot of growth in their persistence and perseverance. Um, our students are constantly prototyping, testing their designs, retesting, re-engineering, and this uh, persistence, they're just growing in their, in their perseverance. I think our students are really lucky. They're getting to play with robotics. They're doing 3D printing. Um, they're making sandboards. And so I think uh, our program is, is going to be really beneficial for them going forward. <laughs> okay, so this is our um, sandboard. And basically it's used like a snowboard, like you would use a snowboard when you write down the sand dunes on it, just that we needed to kind of draw out plans on the computer and draw all the measurements and stuff of how we were going to build it. I thought it was fun to be able to incorporate my art in like a real scenario and like a real product. And I, it gave me like an idea of like, oh, I could actually use my art for something like this. Tell me a little bit about the design process. Um, well, we had to empathize with the end user and kind of make it um, a little bit more simple to build and easier to drive and push. Greg Wilcox is the teacher here at the STEAM program and Greg, uh, you have wonderful community partnerships. Tell me about those. Uh, some, for example, I'm going to use uh, this prop, if you will. Uh, this is the steering mechanism that goes to a push cart project that we've shown you and uh, the maker folks, the mentors, have actually come through and they took a look at the start of what we were going to do and ended up with this product right here and so they have enormous amount of skills retired folks uh, retired machinists person who uh, retired from the uh, Coast Guard electronics expert so we have a lot of resources that are in this community that they in turn help our students with uh, creating things and inventing things and uh, they were here when we were trying to test out those push carts in fact 
Great. Sounds like you have quite a few uh, community partners joining in and in real, real spirit of uh, togetherness here. Yes. It's a fa in fact, we have uh, several. First of all, uh, Cal Poly, uh, several years ago, uh, we teamed up with the Liberal Arts and Engineering Studies program there. And then secondarily, uh, the Cuesta College group and helped us with the Career Technology Education grant. Los Osos is rich with folks, and if you just think to uh, Hewlett Packard, Apple Corporation, you look at all those folks who started in a garage, well, our garage has expanded to include this facility here. Kim McGrath is the Director of Secondary Education for San Luis Coastal School District. And Kim has been a uh, middle school elementary teacher, uh, administrator at multiple levels. And what do you see as exciting about this 21st century learning that you're promoting here in Los Osos? Yeah, we're really excited about where we're going, um, not just at Los Osos, but as it continues on to Mora Bay High School for our students next year, in that this really creates a highly engaging, really motivating um, situation for kids to feel real life scenarios and to be able to critically think and problem solve in ways that are outside a traditional classroom setting. They need students that can think for themselves and can solve problems and can handle themselves um, being innovative and creative in new ways. And so I believe um, that this creates that opportunity for students to have those type of experiences. And as we know in college, um, you need that determination and perseverance and to be able to um, you know, take new challenges and to be able to take it to innovative, amazing places. So we really believe that this type of curriculum and instruction will help students with that. Excellent. And how are the students responding to this? Yeah, students are excited. I think when you can tap into a student's passion, when you can really make something engaging and they can see a purpose to it, um, students tend to really respond to that. I understand also that there's a, quite a bit of integration of the arts here at Los Osos Middle School. It's no longer just STEM, it's now STEAM. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we absolutely have the A in STEAM here at Los Osos Middle School because we have um, an amazing performing arts program that allows us to add um, visual arts and performing arts and really give students the opportunity to see how the arts are integrated into their learning and give them an opportunity to perform and to demonstrate their knowledge in a different way. We're really proud of where Los Osos and Morro Bay um, um, is when it comes to the A in STEAM. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing wonderful program here today in Los Osos and uh, the 21st century skills you're promoting in your district. Thank you for joining us today at Los Osos Middle School, an excellent example of innovative first-class education here on the Central Coast. We'll see you next time.